Hi, I'm Jonathan Knight, co-founder of Uprise Energy, and I'm here to introduce you to the Uprise Global Power Station, the world's first commercially sized portable wind turbine. This is a 14 kilowatt wind system with five kilowatts of solar generation and 200 kilowatt hours of LFP battery storage. The entire unit fits in a 20 foot shipping container for easy transportation anywhere in the world. It can be towed by a forklift, a three quarter ton pickup truck, or uh, while I was in Las Vegas at the Expedient Basing Challenge, what I learned was that moving heavy equipment on some of these islands can become a challenge. So in that event, it could become fully remote control. Now, the moment that you arrive, you can plug right in and get all the power you need from the onboard LFP batteries. And while you're getting all the power that you need, the entire system can be set up by one person in less than a half an hour, or if you have a small crew like me, in, in just a few minutes. This system provides clean, renewable energy where you need it. Now, providing power on some of these islands in the expedient basing, fuel becomes a logistical challenge. And so this system represents a meaningful amount of power where you need it without having to transport the fuel. One of the big challenges in wind energy has always been making power in low wind conditions. And that's really where we have cracked the code with our innovation. We optimize around a lower, much lower wind speed, four and a half meters per second, which is the average wind speed in the world. However, being that we're talking about setting up on islands, which typically enjoy higher than average wind speed, well, this 14 kilowatt wind system here could become a 25 or 30 foot kilowatt system if the higher wind speeds were available by changing only two things. One, the alternator, and two, a, a unique blade shape optimized for that higher wind speed. Now, this system here, uh, because it is generates power from the wind and sun, it's near silent in its operation. It has zero emissions, so it eliminates, it's not only good for the environment, but it's good for the health and well-being of the warfighter because uh, it gets rid of those CO2 emissions that are carcinogenic and cause cancer. You could consider this to be a mobile nano grid because it generates the power from the wind and the sun. It stores the power, again, in these LFP batteries. Again, we can put 200 kilowatt hours of LFP batteries in and then it delivers the power through this onboard inverter and it gives you all the power that you need through a scatter box like what you see here or any other type system. If moving power to remote locations is also uh, of interest, we have a deployable battery system and those batteries can then be moved to whatever location you like. They're using the outriggers to level and stabilize the equipment. All of these outriggers are integrated to the to the trailer itself. They have these control arms, so they're perfectly positioned. This whole system has been designed so it's very easy and intuitive in its operation. It requires no heavy equipment. The entire operation can be completed by just one person. The whole setup in less than a half an hour. So here's how our mass telescopes, we first telescope it in the horizontal position. We have four individual mass sections that telescope. So this unit here is one of four units that we're currently building for the California Energy Commission for emergency response efforts, alternatives to diesel generators on a program that they call Mobile Renewable Backup Generators, more bugs. Obviously we are have proof of concept or a prototype scale. And over the next year, we would be able to deploy these for testing, feedback, and, and use with the Air Force, collaborate with the Air Force for on-site demonstrations and testing efforts, and uh, potential modifications to uh, better fulfill the specific needs of the Air Force and the warfighter and the specific needs of the Expedient Basing Challenge. The five turbine blades fit inside of the uh, trailer here. They ride on that blade carousel. They come out and they fit into this hub here. This is our human machine interface on the turbine that uh, shows everything that the turbine's doing, allows you to control it, 
from the machine, but we are also partnered with the Amazon Web Services, where we're co-developing some communication features, remote control of the system, so that you do not have to be on site to monitor or control the wind turbine. That can all be done uh, remotely. What you see up here is the rotor that will convert the kinetic energy in the wind to mechanical energy that spins the alternator. That alternator generates three phase AC power that comes down. It's conditioned with a variety of capacitors, the pipe filters before sending it over to through the charge controller that then charges the batteries. That goes through this transformer here and out through this inverter to give you whatever power you need. Now these blades here, they're made of carbon fiber and each blade only weighs about 10 pounds. So they are lightweight by design so that they have uh, low inertia, which plays into our proprietary dancing with the wind technology that has a variable speed rotor RPM that effectively captures the exponential power in wind gusts. This is the feature that helps us achieve best in class energy performance by a long shot. This is a part of the proprietary innovation and technology of the Uprise Energy mobile power station, which is unquestionably the most technologically advanced small wind turbine there is anywhere that also happens to be portable, which in and of itself is a unique feature and novel creating a whole host of new applications for wind energy. This is a hybrid system that generates its power from the wind and the sun. Uh, this trailer will be covered with solar panels so that we can add about five kilowatts of solar generation to the trailer itself. And that could be expanded with off trailer generation of additional solar that could be carried inside the trailer and set up uh, off to the side of the unit when it's in its location. Now to put this power generation into perspective, this wind turbine under, with the right wind conditions could power an entire US city block of homes running at full tilt without exception. The battery storage at 200 kilowatt hours, that is enough to keep my home in San Diego running for an entire month uh, at full tilt uh, with just the stored energy in the batteries. And that's if we didn't generate another electron. But the reality is, is that this is a large portable battery that recharges itself from the wind and the sun. But with the stored energy in the batteries, when the sun goes down and if the wind isn't blowing, there's stored power available to keep an uninterrupted power source available for the troops. Now this is the pendant that we use here for the operation of the turbine. Control the brake. Yeah. We can control the steering. We can raise and lower the mast. We can set the brake, the parking brake and we can rotate the nacelle to steer into the wind. I'm proud to say that this entire machine was designed, engineered, and built right here at Uprise Energy's factory in San Diego, California. We are very proud of being a US made product using almost all US made components. Well, a couple of small exceptions. Our alternator comes from a company in France and our batteries do come from overseas, but we're uh, actively working with some new battery manufacturers here in the States. Okay, so now we're using the hydraulic ram being controlled by the pendant uh, to lift the mast. And this is going up in real time here. So eh, about a minute's time, we go from horizontal to vertical, and then we're up and able to make all the power you need. So. I've timed this setup operation and we're at 18 and a half minutes right now from the time I started recording this when we were still moving the wind turbine into place to lifting up the turbine and putting it in a position to generate power. But keep in mind, all the power you needed was available the moment the, the machine arrived on site because of the stored energy in the batteries that you were able to plug right into and and get all the power that you need. And now this wind system is just gonna simply keep those batteries charged, providing an uninterrupted source of power. That's the Uprise Energy mobile power station.
thank you very much for this opportunity to share this with the Air Force and the AppWorks Expedient Basing Challenge. I'm Jonathan Knight. Look forward to answering all your questions. Thank you.